Hi there, I'm Yesunde Bonarin. I'd like to share with you some of the things I've been praying about in recent times. We all know that the world is in a very difficult place with the COVID-19, so there's a lot to pray about. I'm praying for healing, for healing for the nations, that God would step into our world and stop COVID-19 in its tracks. I'm praying for the scientists who are looking for an effective solution to, to end this COVID-19, that God will give them the wisdom and help them to find a solution very quickly. In 2 Chronicles 7, 14, it says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal the land. So we have an invitation from God to pray. I'm also praying for those in authority, the government of the day and the policy makers, that God would give them the wisdom to help them make the right decisions that affect us. In 1st Thibonti 2, 1 to 2, it says, I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, and intercessions and thanksgivings be made for all people, for kings and those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. So praying that our policymakers would make decisions that impact our lives so that we can live peaceful and dignified lives. I'm praying for our leaders in church. I'm praying for Richard and Judith and all the leadership team that they will have a more sharpened percept um, um, perception to the leading of the Holy Spirit as they seek to lead his people in their followership of Christ. I'm also praying for the opportunities that would come away to share the gospel. That when those opportunities present themselves, they'll be able to share the gospel in a clear um, way to people around us. In Colossians 3, Colossians 4, 3 to 4, he says, and pray for us too, that God may open a door for our message so that we may proclaim the mystery of Christ for which I am in chains. That was Paul speaking there and pray that I may proclaim it clearly as I should. So I'm praying that the gospel will be proclaimed clearly as we should, as we have the opportunities to do so. Also for those who have been touched in a, in a very tangible way by this pandemic, for those who have, loved, who, are, who have lost loved ones, that they will know the comfort of the Holy Spirit at this time, experience the love of God in a really tangible way, um, that they will know that God has never left them and he's still with them. For those who have lost income in one form or the other, to know his provision in um, the Bible, it says, and my God will meet all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And that that will be the experience at this time. For those who have had the mental health issues compounded because of the lockdown and the isolation, that God would help them and God will bring healing and restoration to them. I'd like to invite you to join in the prayer meeting on Friday at 8 p.m. on one of the Zoom sessions. We can join other King's Church members to pray and to hold on to God and to seek his face and to see what he will do in our land. In closing, I'd like to read Psalm 46 verses 1, 2 and 7. It says, God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. You know, even though things are being shaken at the moment, Bible says, God is our refuge and strength. Um, and it's, then it says in verse seven, the Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. So I invite you again to join other King's Church members and pray at eight o'clock on Friday via a Zoom session. Thank you. Bye.